So if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you probably know that I identify as a solo sexual. I, I sense a romantic relationship with myself, and I don't think I'm alone. In this video, I'm going to show some evidence that I believe shows that solo sexuals could make up a huge percentage of the population. A lot of them hide in the closet, obviously, but I believe it could be closer to 30 or 40 percent. And I'm going to show two graphs that really demonstrate this. So as much as we like to talk about how much our population growth is out of control, so right now we have two birds for one death around the world. Um, there's no signs of it relenting. And I believe part of this is because we live in a culture where people are bullied into getting into relationships that they really have no business getting into a relationship, right? I've traveled to other countries where this is not an issue, right? I, my family's from Taiwan. The Taiwanese, uh, they, they love their good health, right? During the COVID situation, it was okay for them to talk about ways to keep their immune system strong. Here in the United States, you would never hear COVID advice about maybe we shouldn't be drinking so much or maybe we should be getting more exercise. My grandmother lives in Taiwan and that was almost as important as social distancing, as wearing a mask and all that. And so here in the United States, a lot of people, or in Western Europe, a lot of people get bullied into getting into the relationships that they are not supposed to be in, and as a result, producing huge population growth. Now here's the divorce rates in the United States, and you can see that as we picked up from World War II, a lot of people got bullied into relationships they didn't belong in. And you can see how this peaked out in 1980. I believe this is the beginning of the LGBTQ movement, right? Unfortunately, if we would add S to it, I believe this could go way, way down. And also there could be better control of that. Now, the other reason I believe a lot of this is due to prejudice is because I work at a tutoring center. I work with kids all the way from four years old all the way up to their early 20s. And when you see people in that age group, you can see the progression of the bullying, right? Kids who are five, six, seven, up to 10 years old, they're not afraid to be solo sexual. They're not afraid to not have a close friend of the opposite sex or of the same sex, right? But as they get older, there's huge pressures, right? You got a kid who's eight, nine years old and just got into a fight with his or her significant other. It's no big deal. They're, they're out to have fun the next day, right? When they're 13, 14, it's a whole different story. And unfortunately, what these people don't realize is that maybe they would be happier the other way around.